Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. I'm a real big fan of Native Instruments and all the products that they put out, and recently I've been using the FM8 synthesizer a lot. In this tutorial, I'll go through the morphing section of that synthesizer. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas on this tutorial or any other that I've put out, please get in contact with me through email, justin at wingsound.com. Okay, so I have this preset sound here, the analog sequence. I'll just play it for you. Okay, so now to get to the morph section, just go to the easy slash morph tab on the left hand side. And on the right, you'll get the morph section. And it's kind of got like a X, Y axis and this bigger box is broken into four smaller boxes. And as you can see, the little box inside is not red. When it turns red, there's sounds in there that you can manipulate, you know, and use the morph function in there but there's nothing in there now I'll show you when I move it around you don't hear any changes all right you get the idea there so now to change these sounds all you got to do is go to the browser and either search through instruments or sounds to find the sounds you want to use to morph your original uh, preset sound or one uh, sound that you've created and I'm just gonna pick some random stuff here I'm gonna go through soundscapes and once you find something that you like, just click, drag it up to the top here. And this box here is, you know, a representation of that morph uh, section. So what you want to do is grab the sound and drop it in one of the boxes. So as you can see, now there's a little arrow there that'll allow you to drop it in there. So I'm going to drop this one here. Again, I'm choosing random sounds. So that one's the bottom uh, right. This one's the top right bottom left and the top left really simple so I'll go back to the easy morph tab and as you can see now that little box is red and all four of those sounds are in the four different boxes so all you got to do is get your mouse click on the little box and drag it around to you know morph the sound in with all these different sounds that you chose And the more you move the box to a corner, it's going to be more of whatever sound you chose for that section of the uh, this whole morph square. So, you know, if I bring this all the way down to the corner of the I am the vessel sound, it's going to be mostly that sound. And as you start moving it up and away from there, you start getting all the other sounds coming into play with each other. Now, the other thing that's really cool is you have a random option here. You have these two sliders on the top and on the right hand side. So if I move the top one all the way to the right and the one on the right hand side all the way up, you'll see these like little particles here. And it's kind of randomizing where it's taking the sounds from from each different section. And then you have this randomized seed and you know, the more you adjust that, the more these particles become randomized and, you know, you can get some very, very creative stuff going. This is like amazing for sound design because you can get some really, really creative stuff and things that people haven't heard before. And, you know, you can incorporate this into music and create some very atmospheric stuff. It's very, very cool and, you know, basically unlimited possibilities here check out wingsound on the itunes store to subscribe to the podcast listen to some music and download the free iphone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from wingsound studios just search for wingsound at the itunes store